Excuse me, guys. Can I show you a real quick magic trick? Sure. Check this out. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? I've got nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand, but I'm going to give you this card. Do you think I can do it? Stick out your hand. It's for you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Your phone doesn't print? Probably not. Ne neither does mine. Can I show you another trick? Sure. Read out loud the triangles. You made three mistakes. Can you see his mistakes? It doesn't say any of those things. The first triangle says Paris in the the spring. Oh, it's a double trick. Look at the next one. It's all the ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, they both have the And look at the last one. Oh, it's two A's. A, A. Can I show you another trick? Sure. Okay. Are you a good person? Yes. No. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So let's see if you're mistaken about that. Have you ever told a lie? Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? <laughs> What's that? A bad person. Well, more specifically, a liar. A liar. So what are you? A liar. A liar, yeah. Have you ever taken anything that doesn't belong to you, ever? Like candy, an answer from somebody's test? No. I think I test like a couple of times. You, you've cheated on a test? Yeah. You've stolen a grade? No. no. Oh, you've never, you've never cheated? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Download music that shouldn't be free. Use somebody else's Netflix account. So, what do you call people who steal? So, what are you? Thief. No, you're a lying thief. Where did you get that? Did he steal? No, he didn't. Not right now, at least. He, he's done it before in his life. You know you stole it. So, l l check this out. Are you one of check this out. Watch this. Parents? Watch this. I'm going to print this out for you and give it to you. Do you think I, you think I can do it? Are you a parent? No. Watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this card. Watch this. I have nothing here. Are you streaming right now? Okay. So, being a liar and a thief, is that a good person? Yo! And if you die Yo! today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? You shall not lie, innocent or guilty. guilty. And should God let guilty people into heaven? So what would have happened to you if you had died yesterday? Where would you have gone? I didn't say it, you did, right? What did God do for you so you can be forgiven? He died, where? On the cross. Wait. Did he stay dead? No. He's a liar. That's right. So tell me how to go to heaven. You die. No. Because you could go the other way when you die. You be good. Are you a good person? Okay. Nobody gets to heaven by being good. Do you know good people do not go to heaven? Do you know why? Because they might be gay or something. No, they don't exist. <laughs> there are no good people. I'm good. The Bible says there is no one righteous, not even one. You're good? Yeah. Have, have you ever told a lie? <laughs> You're lying now. Okay. I, I, I told my friend that this girl likes him. I'm, I'm lying. I know. Okay. Well, I why are you lying? I was straight. Okay. So, you're all liars, right? <laughs> I did not steal this. Okay. It's, wait, it's stealing this. So, where, where will you go when you die? Nowhere. How do you know that? Uh, who, who created God? No one. He's always existed. That must be true. Do you, want me to prove it to you? Yes. Prove it to you. Do you know the law of cause and effect? Yes. Every effect has a cause, right? Can you do a magic trick? <laughs> okay. Every effect has a cause. Is that right? So whatever the cause is, is an effect of an earlier cause, right? Effect, cause, effect, cause. <laughs> Keep going back. There can't be an infinite number of steps. There can only be a finite number of steps. So at the very beginning of that sequence of events, there must be an uncaused first cause. That's God. That's... Yeah. How about the multiverses? What if... There is no such thing as a multiverse. What if the time is like going that's, around that's... and around? There's no such thing as a multiverse. How do you know there's no such thing as God? Because look, look around. Yeah. Where did all this come from? I know. The multiverse. There is no such thing as a multiverse. Where, the where did the Big Bang come from? You tell me. I can't. God. Let me prove it to you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let me, let me prove it to you. 
all the matter, energy, space, and time were created in the Big Bang, right? Whatever caused the Big Bang to happen is not made out of matter or energy or exist in space and time, right? What if there's, what if the Big Bang is this thing? No, you didn't, you didn't hear, you're not listening to me. All the matter, energy, space, and time were created in the Big Bang, right? So whatever caused the Big Bang to happen did not come from matter or energy, space, and time. But what you, caused it? You cannot, so tell me, what caused it? You cannot tell, God. No, what caused it? Exactly, See, God. God. The only logical Whoa. conclusion is something outside of our universe. What would be outside there? What created that? I, I just told you. How did God? The pre-existent, non-created, non uh, everlasting thing is that didn't exist, here? okay? He's sitting right here. He's everywhere. I can hear you now. Is he in me? No, he's not in you. Whoa. He's through you, but he's not in you. You know why? Because you not care. Because, <laughs> because you <laughs> obviously don't you. love God, right? You don't love God. So he's not in you. No, I love God. Oh yeah? So tell me how to go to heaven. You don't be so good. You got to prayer. Let me just get it. No. You no. have to pray? I know it. Do you no. have to be baptized? No. I've never no, been no. baptized, but I'm Christian. I'm Christian. No, no, you're not. I am. You know why? Because you don't know how to go to heaven. But I believe in God. I know how to go to heaven. You know what? Atheists believe in God. But I believe Muslims in believe in God. But I believe okay. In okay. Jesus. Buddhists I'm believe in God. Muslims don't believe in okay. God. Okay. No, no, I believe, I believe in Jesus though. Okay. So tell me how to go to heaven. No, I don't know. No, I know no. how, but I, I'm how? believing in Jesus. You're not even a Christian. That's the problem. Are you, a you think you're yes, because they can tell you how to go to heaven, and I live as as I though as though I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. How am I gonna go to heaven? Okay. L let me tell you what it says in the Bible, okay? Because you, you need to know, right? You need to know. Wait, are you gonna teach me how to become a Christian? Right here, right now. It won't take very long. I gotta go. Though. Only take seconds. Do you have your Bible on you? Do you have I, a I did Bible ask you. app? I did ask you. I'll, I'll show it to you. I have the Bible and paper for him. I'll show it to you. Acts 16.31. It's only one sentence. What my number? I gotta go, yeah. Oh, you gotta go? Oh, don't leave. What does that say? It says, the Lord Jesus Christ, Wait, and you will be saved. Um, you and no, no, hold on. Start right there. Believe. Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. So how do you go to heaven? You believe. Right. Let me, you just believe. See, it depends on how you believe, okay? If you just believe He existed, that doesn't help you. You have to believe Him as Savior and Lord. Okay? Right there it says believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? What, what is, what's Lord? No, give me another word for Lord. Master. Everything. Exactly. King or Master, right? Can you believe in a Master you don't obey? No, you're fooling yourself if you, don't, if you don't obey him, right? Or at least make an attempt at obeying him, right? So you must believe in the, Jesus as Lord and Savior. Right? What did, what did Jesus do so you can be saved? And he rose again. Do you know why? why? Why did he have to do it that way? Because God is going to punish every sin, okay? And if he punished you for your sin, where would you end up? Hell. That's right. So, so I can't sin at all? No, let me explain. Jesus died on the cross so that your sins can be punished by His suffering. Then God can offer you mercy. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you can receive what Jesus did for you by repenting of your sins and believing in Jesus. Here's, here's what it means to repent of sins. Let's say you just realize, oh, oh, oh goodness, getting drunk is not good. Let's say you've been drinking, okay? Then you start to fight the urge to drink. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect, but you're going to fight it and over time you're going to have victory over sin increasingly more and more so you're going to grow in holiness okay that's what it means to repent to fight sin for your for the rest of your life with victory okay and to believe in Jesus means you not only believe he existed right lots of historians who aren't christians believe he existed because he did it's believing in what he did for you who he is okay so who is Jesus he's god the creator Wait, I thought Jesus was God's son. He's both. You ever heard of the Trinity? Father, Son, yeah, Holy... Yeah, school named Trinity, Hold on. Yes. No, no, no. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, these three are one God. Three persons, one God. Okay? The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. They're all God. But there's only one God. And within that Trinity, there's relationship. There's Father relating to Son, relating to the Spirit. Okay? So, you know very little about Christianity. It's not your fault. You know why you don't know? Because you weren't taught. And you maybe you weren't reading your Bible too, but 
you're old enough to read your Bible. So start by reading the book of Romans. Go home and read the book of Romans. It would take you, you can do it in one night if you wanted to. Do it in a week. Watch, see how your faith grows, okay? So tell me how to go to heaven. I just told you. You're going to believe in Jesus. Right, because what did he do for you? He died. And what, what did that accomplish for you? The sin with the mercy. Sin. Yeah, yeah he, he paid the penalty for your sins so that you won't have to pay. Because if you guys paid, you guys would end up in hell. But the, the only way for Jesus... So nobody's in hell right now? Well, let's not get too technical. The people who are not believers in Jesus, they're already suffering. So let's say Hitler, he believed in Jesus. He, does, but, he, he didn't believe in Jesus. I can guarantee you that. Okay, but if he did, let's say I'm... If different. he did at the very end, if he repented, okay? If he truly repented of his sins and trust and believed in Jesus, he, so could, like, be, like, he could be saved. Yes. You know why? Because Jesus is more powerful than any human being's sin. Does that make sense? Yeah. Jesus is more powerful. You know why? Because he's God. He has more power than any man's ability to sin. Only if you would submit to him. Okay? But you can't... You see, do you know what? Repentance is, is not as easy as you think it is. Let me, let me explain, okay? I spread, the, I spread the gospel. That doesn't save you. It might help somebody else to get saved, but it won't save you. What's the gospel? You didn't even know it a minute ago. What's the gospel? You, you believing in Jesus, right? Right. And then that he died for you. He paid the penalty for your sins. Yeah. But you couldn't tell me how to go to heaven. If, if you were spreading the gospel, you should be able to tell me how to go to heaven. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to give you a quick illustration to show you the difference between repentance and confession so that you can truly repent, okay? Let's say there's a very wealthy businessman. He has a beautiful secretary. Let's say he's a Catholic guy, okay? And he decides he's going to cheat with her on Saturday, go to his Catholic church on Sunday and confess, and then repeat the next week. Cheat on Saturday, confess on Sunday. Cheat on Saturday, confess on Sunday. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Because the confession is just a game to him. He's gaming the system. He thinks he can fool God by confessing the next day. That's not, that's not d repentance. That doesn't do anything, okay? True repentance means he comes to a, p a point in his life where he realizes what he's doing is wicked. It's evil. It's evil against God, and it breaks his heart, uh, his wife's heart. And it breaks his heart. And he, he's disgusted by what he's been doing, and he wants to stop, and he does stop. That's repentance, okay? For a guy like Hitler to repent of killing Jews... That's a pretty hard thing for him to do, isn't it? For him to come to the realization that killing Jews is profoundly wicked and have his own heart be broken by what he's doing. What's the likelihood of that happening to him? Not likely? Is it possible? Yeah, but highly unlikely. What you need to do is to repent of your sins. Whatever they are. I'm not going to judge you because I don't know you, right? But I, I love all three of you. Have you sinned? Absolutely. I'm a sinner too. We're all sinners, okay? And I, I fight my sin every day. What's the biggest sin that you do every day? I, I know I've slept with girls I shouldn't have, okay? And I've repented of that long ago, like decades ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How young? How young are we talking? Uh, the last time I did it was probably in my early 30s. I'm almost 60, okay? So that was like 30 years ago. So you need to repent. You need to... Because I, I, re, I came to re, the realization I was breaking people's heart. I was um, committing sins that were wicked, and very wicked in the eyes of God. Okay? And I, and I can't do that. And I can't continue to do that and expect to go to heaven. If you read 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, okay? It's very, very clear. What's your favorite? That's yeah, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah, yeah, but like, what is that, what is it called? What is the thing, John? There's not a name for that, it's just John 3.16. No, I know, but like, you know how there's like 3.16, there's like, like 8.30 or something, like, like passages? It's, it's a verse. A verse, okay. It's a verse. What's your favorite verse? Um, I don't know if I've got one, but, but the, the one I've been citing a lot lately is one I've cited to you, uh, Acts 16.31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Um, but I want to show you 1 Corinthians 6, 
9 through 11, okay? Check this out. This is in the Bible right here. It says, Do you no not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, that, that was me, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Wait, is being gay a sin? Or yes, it is. Well, acting out on that desire is a sin. Wait, Have, so like having the attraction isn't necessarily this, a sin, because you know why? Married men are attracted to women they're not married to. But if you do something about it and, and follow you through with the it, then you're definitely in sin, right? Even if you play around it with it in your mind, that's a sin, right? But being the attraction doesn't make it sinful. It makes you human. What you do with it can make it sin, okay? And, then, and this verse, uh, the passage goes on. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by the Spirit of God. So don't be deceived. If you're stealing, if you're sleeping around, if you're getting drunk, getting high, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay? It's Wait, dangerous. So if you get high, like, multiple times, then you won't go to heaven? It's not that simple. Many people who used to get high will be going to heaven because they repented of it. And they fought that, they fought that sin, they fought that urge, and they overcame it. What about cigarettes? I'm not sure if cigarettes is necessarily a sin. That's one of those gray areas. If God tells you it's a sin, you should, you should stop. Okay? Um, but, so let's get a little more detailed about sin, okay? If you get drunk one time, does it mean you're going to hell? Maybe, maybe not. Okay? Because if, it's, if you don't care, and, and you, you know it's wrong, but you don't care, and you plan on doing it again, then you, you might go to hell. What if you repent? Repent means you, you, you want to fight that sin because you know it's wicked, okay? And God is going to reveal to you as you get older, as you get more mature in your faith, what sin is. Like for instance, let's say, let's say in the future you're married, okay? And one day you realize, oh my goodness, I've been very rude to my wife. That's a sin, right? And if you truly repent, you're going to fight that sin. You're going to do everything you can to be respectful to is her. Is killing people in video games a sin? Maybe. Wait. May, wait maybe, wait, maybe wait. not. Because it's, it's definitely not the same as killing somebody, right? But it's one of those areas where engaging in that activity can change your, your attitude and your behaviors, right? Wait, is self-defense a sin? No, absolutely not. If you haven't gone too far, you have not committed a sin. Thank so, you. before I go, you tell me how to go to heaven. Tell me how to go to heaven. You have to accept Jesus. Re yeah, receive Jesus by believing in Him yeah. and repenting of your sins. How about you? Tell me how to go to heaven. You believe in Jesus as your Savior. That's right, and repent of your sins. Right? Because you can't believe in Jesus and not repent, right? Yeah. Because he's God. Yeah. That's for you. That's for you. So so that guy that was here early that was really sort of rude and crass. The, the, two the guy that was was he sitting on your lap? The guy with the black hoodie? Yeah, who I don't remember. He was rude and crass. Well he was. He was very sn snotty. Snotty. Um here, give this to him too. I know he was being snotty, but he might be like coming close to faith and he's just putting up walls, okay? Talk to him about Jesus and see what happens, okay? I, I, I'm never going to see him again, but you're going to see him again, right? Who, who else wants more of these so you can give to people? You good? Okay. Let me show you something else. Let's say you wanted more of these, right? This website, or if you scan that QR code, it goes to a website that has this in there. If the website has more videos to support, okay? Let me show you something else. Wait, can you tell me the magic trick you use? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. So that QR code, if you scan that QR code, you start an email to me. If you want, I, have, I can answer your questions and give you more gospel tracts.